Hey everybody, this is NDM here, welcome you back to another episode of Let's Play Mega Man 5 for the NES. Alright, so in the last episode we did Gravity Man and Napalm Man stage respectively, and we got Gravity Hold and Napalm Bomb, so in this video we're going to do Stone Man stage and Charge Man stage, but first we're going to start off by doing Stone Man, because we have Napalm Man's, well we have Napalm Bomb, which can, um, which is super effective, or it's, uh, the Stone Man's weakness, so we can use that against him. And I remember the letter in this stage being relatively close to the start of the level, so it's not that far. You don't have to go that far into the level to find it. It's also very hidden too, so... Yeah. I'll point it out to you when we get to it, which we should be approaching very shortly here. Uh, wait, is it not down here? No, I guess not. Okay, so, uh... Wait, I thought it was like right here somewhere. And this is further into the stage. It must be. Yeah, and the problem is with hard hats in this game, they split up into individual miniature hard hats, which can get kind of annoying. Alright, oh, it's right here, so you have to shoot these blocks here and then do a slide uh, move to come and find a hidden room here that has the G letter. Hang on a second. Okay guys, I'm back. Right, so um... Yeah, we just picked up the G letter from the hidden room that was blocked off by a series of blocks that we had to shoot out. So let's just progress on further into the stage. Um... Yeah, just trying to avoid the hard hats and stuff and these things too. You know what, I'm not even going to bother trying to kill that because I don't think I'm going to get anything from him anyway. Because they'll split off into um, individual, like I say, miniature hard hats, which can which can be quite problematic most of the time. But I do need health though, because I don't want to take too much damage on the way to the boss. And I don't even know how many extra lives I have. Oh, I'm on my last life here, which is kind of bad. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Um, but if we die and get a game over, we don't have to get that letter again, I don't think, because that thing is permanently um, obtained, like you don't have to recollect it again. Speaking of health, there's a giant health pickup right there, so I'll take that. I don't really remember if there are any energy tanks to be collected in this stage, which kind of blows, if I'm being honest, because I could totally do with some form of... Uh, security, I guess, because I don't want to go into this boss fight and then, you know, end up getting my ass kicked. Because I don't have an E tank to back me up. <clears throat> Alright, so let's just quickly go up here before we get bombarded by a bunch of enemies. And I hate these things too, because they just drop down randomly. Well, they don't drop down randomly, they drop down as you get closer to them and they explode on you, which. And they're kind of hard to hit too, even with the Mega Buster because they move really fast and these things too are also really annoying you'll find that to be uh, quite true as you oh wow look at that an extra life cool as you're trying to jump over gaps and stuff because they can knock you into the pit basically like those uh, what, what were they the screws in Mega Man 3 on Spark Man stage they just always respawn, and there's nothing that you can do about it. But at least we got the extra life, I mean, I'm happy about that. At least, I don't know where that's going to put me now, but that'll probably put me not too far off from where I was. Yeah, I'm right, okay, this is where the checkpoint is. I believe we're actually etching towards the end of the stage here, so we're close to finishing Stone Man's stage. I honestly think this stage is much harder than harder than Charge Man stage. Um, and that's kind of funny because Stone Man's weapon is Charge Man's weakness, so you kind of think, or you would expect that um, uh, Charge Man stage would be harder than this one. Yeah, that's what I was trying to think. What I was trying to say. I 
Oh wait, okay, well there's uh, another extra life here that we can get. I think you actually have to use Rush Coil to get this one, if I remember right. <clears throat> or you can do it just by getting right on the edge of this ledge here. And No, I think you have to do it with Rush Coil. Screw it. <clears throat> okay, not like that. No, not like that. Yeah, like that. <laughs> I don't know why he was getting stuck under there, for some reason. Get back onto the Mega Buster. Alright, okay. I don't have any E-Tanks, but at least I have an extra life, which is good enough for me, I suppose. Yeah, well, actually, speaking of which, there's an E-Tank right here. I'd completely forgot about this one. This one's actually kind of hard to get, so I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to get this without failing miserably. And it's going to be kind of risky doing this too, because I don't want to die, obviously. You know what, doing this without a save... You know what, I'm going to make a save state just in case, actually. Yeah, because all it takes is one mistake, and then you end up screwing everything up, so... You have to be really quick on that, I'm telling you. I don't, know, I don't even know if I'll bother with it. I'll try several times, but if I don't get it, I'm like, I don't know, let's say the fifth time or whatever, I'm just going to give up with it. Because <clears throat> we've still got one more stage to do after this, and I don't want to sit around here trying to get one E-Tank. Okay, there we go, right, we got it. Okay, well, that didn't take too long, so I'm happy with that. Um... Alright, so obviously to make the other platform appear, we have to stand on this one, jump down, and then it will re then it will respawn. That's the only way you can get that one at the top to respawn, is to do that. <sighs> oh, here we go, we got our buddy here, but he only gave us energy refill. I didn't need an energy refill. Dang it. I mean, I'm always welcoming E-Tanks and extra lives, but we're not, you know, struggling with energy um, refill or anything like that. Weapon energy, should I say. Alright, I think this is like the end of the level here. So you just gotta get past these hard hats. And there's the door. Right, okay, so you know what I'm gonna do? Quick napalm bomb. And we're just going to do this first time, hopefully. If I die, then I'm screwed. Because I don't think your energy actually refills after you die. So, like, if we use Napalm Man now, and, um... And we die after using, using Napalm Man's energy, um... I don't think it re regenerates, so... Okay, that was a wasted two napalm bombs that he used just then, and he's dead. Yeah, he's pretty easy uh, to beat with the um, with the weakness. He's actually quite tough if you're trying to beat him without the weakness, although it is actually doable. Um, his attack his attack pattern is kind of predictable. It's not like Ringman's pattern from Mega Man 4, where it's like unpredictable and you don't know w what he's gonna do. You got Power Stone. So we got the Power Stone ability, which we can then use on Charge Man. So we'll go stage select this time to go continue, like I did in the last video. <laughs> so here we go, this is Charge Man. I actually kind of like Charge Man stage, it's pretty fun. And it's got cool music too. And the enemies and the obstacles in this stage aren't that bad either, so... And I'm saying that while I'm getting bombarded by these flying things. Yeah, most of the stage you'll be doing is like on these uh, train platforms. I do need some health though, that would be good. Oh, that's speaking of which, there we go, grab that.
Uh, I, don't, I tried sliding underneath the pellet that he shot at me and then I ended up crashing, crashing into him. Well, actually, you can, if you want to, you can grind for a health again on these guys because he just spawns endless amounts of chickens or baby chicks. So you can just pea shoot these until you get all your energy back. We did just get an extra life there, so that's good. Uh, it's a very long process, though, if, you, if you're going to stand here and try and grind your health back. Uh, sometimes it's just not even worth it. Um, I'll shoot a few more just to get some more health, but... And it's like if you get hit, then you end up losing some of your progress, you know, because... Well, there we go, that's good enough for me. I'm not going to stand here and grind all of my health back. You just hear how kick-ass that music is, it's so awesome. Oh man. <clears throat> yeah, I think we're getting near towards the letter as well, so we're gonna have to use rush I think you have to use rush coil to get it, uh, if I remember right. Just get a few more extra health pickups here and an extra life is more than welcome. Uh, I think that's like three extra lives I have now. <clears throat> it's a shame you can't grind for E tanks. <laughs> I mean, even if you could, that would kind of be broken. It would be a bit broken if you could do that. <clears throat> I'm trying to th remember where you find M, M tanks as well. Because they're also quite useful. Uh, I, I don't think you find any in the Robot Master stages. They might only start appearing once you get to um, Proto Man's Castle. And obviously Dr. Wily's Castle. Right, so that... A letter is obviously too high for us to jump up to, so we're gonna have to use the assistance of Rush Coil to get that. So grab that, and I think there's mini bosses in this level too, which kind of sucks. They're the mini bosses that you fought in uh, Napalm Man stage, and I think we're getting kind of close to it, so. Yeah, there's, there, there's robot, there's giant robots that shoot missiles at you and you have to kind of dodge them while shooting at the same time. I think it's down here actually, this is the end of the level. Yeah, one of these guys, alright, okay, here we go. Let the fun begin. I'm trying to shoot his head. There we go, well, that actually wasn't too bad, okay, that was uh, a lot better than I had, had expected. Alright, so let's get... Pea stone out. Pea stone made of pea, made of urine. <laughs> no, that's power stone, bro. The power stone. The power of urine. Okay, right, so let's just try and do this. So, the way Stone Man's weapon works, it's kind of random. It's like a uh, freaking Shadow Blade from Mega Man 3. You have to stand right close to him. No, it's not Shadow Blade, it's freaking Top Man's weapon, isn't it? Where you have to like stand right on top of Shadow Man in order to make it work. Well, it's kind of the same with Stone Man, you have to stand right next to him in order to actually do damage. Alright, so just to, just uh, in case I die here, I'm not taking the risk, I'm just going to use P. I don't know why I said P. Um, an E tank. I was about to say P tank. Well, then that really would be full of urine <laughs> if it was a P tank. Okay, I'm doing really bad with a stone man weapon here. There we go, All right, okay, that's good. <clears throat> so for that we get charge kick, if I'm not mistaken, which is uh, weak against uh, wave man. This has got the same kind of color palette as, um, I think it was Quick Boomerang in Mega Man, Mega Man 2, or it was, uh, uh, Crash Man's weapon, I can't remember, um, so we'll press stage select, and that's Charge Man and Stone Man completed.
for this video. So in the next episode, uh, we could either do Wave Man and then do Star Man, or we can do Gyro Man and then Crystal Man. But I want to do Gyro Man and Crystal Man because Gyro Man and Crystal Man stages are just a gigantic pain in the ass. And I really want to get those done out of the way first. So we'll do those two in the next video. So anyway guys, until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching. Take a look to see the next video and goodbye.